Now, these look like good rings. No scratches, no scars, no dents. Oh, I think I just dropped part of it. Let me take that back. Uh, there's a little scratch right there. No. These rings are gorgeous, but not long ago. Do you know what they were? They were pieces of precious metal on a jeweler's bench. And that jeweler formed them into this memento of this moment. You see, these are Ebenezer's, according to the Bible. These are mementos of this moment. And from this day forward, every time you look at this ring, every time you see the sun glint off the gold, every time somebody comments on it, you should be transported back to the magic moment of your marriage. And you should relive the sacred promises, the biblical covenant that you have created. That's what these rings represent. You said when you met Alex, you saw her home life was amazingly similar to yours. And then you went on to say that Alex is a wonderfully unselfish person. She's tremendously loving and loyal. She's your encourager and the chief cheerleader. And you believe that God placed her in your life as your gift and your treasure. You said, I can't picture my life without Alex. She's the perfect partner God has designed for me. And then Alex, I asked, out of over three and a half billion guys on the planet, why Chase? You said, he is my dearest friend. We can share anything together. We share our hearts with each other. He constantly uplifts me. He brings me so much peace and calm. You said he loves me with his whole heart. He's an incredible person who makes me extremely happy when I'm in his company. You said he's my rock and I sense the Lord has brought us together. which is vested in me through the state of Alabama, but primarily I'm looking to the Lord. I can consequently now pronounce you husband and wife. And the Bible tells us what God has joined together, people should never pull apart. Chase, your marriage has started in good measure. You may now kiss your treasure.